Women's SEC Tournament has returned to Nashville, Tennessee. Tonight just steps away from the Country Music Hall of Fame, two record-breaking headliners will face the music. Tennessee's Candace Parker, last year's SEC Player of the Year, and this year's SEC Player of the Year, LSU Sylvia Fowles. Both women know they'll be in the big dance, but on the line, a possible number one seed. The year of Tennessee and Candace Parker. Candace won the Wade Trophy. She won the Wooden Award. SEC, er, Tennessee, they won the national championship. But this year, Carolyn, the worm has turned. Already this year, we have found out that LSU Sylvia Fowles has beaten out Candace Parker for the SEC Player of the Year. Well, and the coaches voted Sylvia Fowles for the SEC Player of the Year. I think well-deserving when you think about having to face Candace Parker, or face Sylvia Fowles night in and night out. Uh, not to so not to take anything away from her that she doesn't deserve it. But Candace Parker, it's definitely been a motivation for her, Eric. And I think that this game today will help all to see who is the true SEC Player of the Year. All right, let's compare them. Let's look at the numbers. What are the differences between our two Star Watch candidates and Parker and Fowles? Well, when you look at Parker's numbers, the thing that you've got to consider, she plays really all five positions on the floor, point to wing to post. She does so many different things for her team. But on the other end, it's Sylvia Fowles, and every coach that's ever had to coach against Sylvia Fowles has got to go through great preparation trying to figure out a way to stop such a big girl and powerful player inside. Lobo. Rebecca, what's going on? Well, Eric, Sylvia Fowles is obviously very worthy of SEC Player of the Year honors. But how has Candace Parker responded to not getting the award? Pat Summit said that in the tournament, Candace has been running the floor really hard, posting up more physically, and playing better defense. When I asked Pat if she thinks Candace is playing like this because of the Player of the Year results, she said, you were a player. What do you think? Guys, I think Sylvia Fowles was right on the money when she told me this morning, I'm pretty sure Candace is going to play like she has a lot to prove. She is guarding her one-on-one. -on -one. I think it's going to be a battle in the paint. We're going to see both coaches try to establish the candidates for player of the year. Sylvia Fowles for LSU and Candace Parker for Tennessee. Bobbitt gets it over to Candace Parker. Horn buckle. Now Candace reposts. Facing up against Ashley Thomas. When you're All-American, you get that role. She has been playing like she's got something to prove. In the previous two games against Florida and then against uh, Vanderbilt, Candace Parker established herself inside first, playing very physical, and then let the game come to her where she then took advantage of situations on the perimeter or controlled certain people she wanted shooting the basketball. What Van Chancellor has done is said, everybody, you can shoot the ball. You work on it, you can shoot the ball. And I think this team is playing with a lot more freedom, and they're having a lot more fun. Orrin Buckle picks up her dribble over to Candace Parker. I think that's a huge mismatch, and Candace should try to take Ashley. And Parker, she's three for three so far today. When you look at those numbers, Parker has it on the points, Fowles has it on the rebounds, field goal percentage, but Sylvia Fowles, all her points are in the paint. Candace Parker is shooting it, like I said before, she plays all five positions, so she's playing out on the wing, shooting the three, and down low. Get from Alberta is defense and rebounding. The offensive production scored that last basket. That was a bonus for Tennessee. It's an 8-0 run now for the Lady Vols as Candace Parker continues to play fantastic basketball. Happened. Team didn't change. Had to call a second time, a second timeout. But and after that, his team responded. Not only close to the players glass. that she's had to coach. You know, the kids have changed, and Pat Summit's done a great job of adjusting to how how the kids have changed and how she's got to coach, motivate, and teach them. Are put into the starting lineup. For the Lady Vols, it's not like being in the starting lineup of, of any team. With the caliber of competition that the Lady Vols go against, that's a quick education, and it's very easy for a freshman to get get tired, and mental fatigue's tough, as it is, tough enough. This foul is called against Sylvia Fowles. She thought she had a clean block. It's her second personal. Can, can play with two fouls. There's a good chance that today Candace Parker will get to 2,000 career points. She needed 19 coming into today's game, and she's now just eight away. 1,992 points. Playing to Fowles, takes her time and finishes with a left hand. Well, since Fowles hasn't come out, doesn't come out to guard her, Fuller can shoot the three. Parker, turn around. Feathery soft touch. Yellow Shoes got to change who's guarding who. Put Thomas on Alex Fuller and Candace Parker. Oh, and Candace goes down. On Sylvia Files. Hard. 
And if that's on Sylvia Fowles, that's her third. We will run a little bit more misdirection. We were going strong side, then immediately reversing. The well, think about the average scoring in the 10 meetings that LSU and Tennessee have had in the SEC tournament. LSU has averaged 72.9 points per game, and Tennessee has averaged 72.5. That's a difference of 0.4 points. Evenly matched. How about my mathematics on that? <laughs> Sylvia Fowles inside. Going to shot. Another entry pass is too high for Sylvia Fowles. And now Sylvia not getting back on defense. Ahead of the pack, Candace Parker, and she's fouled. Well, with this team, it's been a defensive struggle. That's where the game's going to be won or lost is in the paint. Tennessee, they last won this tournament in 2006. They've won 12 SEC tournament titles in total. Parker, the pull-up. Even if Candace Parker were to come back and play next year, she's not going to catch Holesclaw. Cheney has it blocked from behind. Here comes Candace Parker and the Lady Sylvia Ball. Fowles and Candace Parker. Well, Sylvia Fowles has turned it up inside. She struggled early, went one for six when her first six shots, but now they have found a way to get her the ball in a place that she can score. And Candace Parker started out strong from start to finish. First part of this half, starting a little slow, but she's definitely picked it up in the second half. Parker, oh man, a little semi-hook goes up and in after the intermission. Miles really wants it underneath. Good catch and finish with the left hand. Left hand, that's what I like about it. Had the presence of mind of know where she was and the reverse layup coming around using that left hand. Graf with Sylvia Files, he's got to love that. Parker, oh, takes a lot of contact. Nothing called, and Parker with another two. And I think Candace Parker goes number one to the L.A. Sparks. Pair her up with Lisa Leslie coming back. And then Sylvia Fowles goes to Chicago Sky and Erlena Larkins to Minnesota. Kayla Block over to Thomas. Inside to Fowles. Another left-handed shot is true. Bottom. Nowhere to go. Loose ball. Hornbuck is going to have to hurry. Parker. Shot clock down to one. And just like that, Tennessee back with the lead. One timeout remaining for LSU. Fouls inside. Misha Williams loses it on rounds over to Tennessee. And done. She has stepped up big. You know, and I think because Candace Parker is so good at times during the season, sometimes she may get bored a little bit and coast. But when a championship is on the line, Candace Parker is stepping up big. And she believes, as I think all do, great players, you really see them rise and shine when their back's against the wall and a championship is on the line. And that'll do it. We can put it in the book. The Tennessee Lady Balls, led by Candace Parker, they win the 2008 SEC Tournament. Candace Parker may not be the SEC Regular Season Player of the Year, but I can tell you this right now. The votes haven't been tabulated, but she will be the SEC Tournament Player of the Year. In my book, definitely shows. She stepped up. She played like she had something to prove. Now, can she carry that through? And I think she can in the on into the NCAA.